Hello everyone. Several people ask about the hanging cabinets. Today, I will disassemble the cabinet for you guys to see more details and its benefits. Hanging cabinets, which is are clamped with the handles on the car ceilings, provide many advantages. Besides more storage spaces, it will give more shoulder spaces while sleeping. This implies more comfortable sleep for two persons. If the cabinet is constructed with standing poles, these poles may cause a hazards when we open and close the cabin storage pockets. The biggest advantage of hanging cabinet is that it provides an installation space for various accessories such as, as electronic fans, dome lights, control panels, and so on. The rear side of the right cabinet has a speed-controlled electronic fan attached. Opening the rear side windows will intake the fresh air from outside. The smartphone on the ceiling is used watch movies and YouTube videos. For extended viewing, a separate power supply is provided. We also have a 5 volt terminals for charging a separate mobile phone. Rainy and humid days are harder to live in a small vehicle than cold or hot days. We installed a 9 volt dehumidifier to reduce humidity during sleeps. On hot days, it is replaced with an electronic fan for ventilation inside the car. On the rear of the left side cabinets, there is a terminal that supplies electricity to 12 volt electric blankets. There are hooks for hanging pouch, etc. Open the left rear side window to let air out of the cabin. At the top of the cabinet doors, there is a device that monitors current times, indoors and outdoor temperatures, and battery voltage. There is a control panel attached to the left side cabinets, which displays the battery conditions, the solar panel performance, and the inverter status. Okay, let's take the cabinet doors panels apart and look at the internal structures. The outer free finished plywood is a 3 8 inch thick and the frame structures is made of 1 by half inch straight. Since the whole frame was assembled with the woodwork glues and screws, I cannot disassemble it to piece by piece. Sorry about that. Carefully see the handles of the ceiling and the two half inch by two inch strut. Two studs are overlaid together and securely attached with the handle of the ceiling with two u bolts The entire load is applied to the two studs and the ceiling handles. To fix the flame to the vehicle's plastic wall securely, we use half inch screws and L-shaped angles. When the skeleton is securely fixed to the handles and the vehicle body, we finish the outer area with a pre-finished plywood. You may need a chisel to fix hinges on the door panel and need to place woodwork glue around the screw hole for long use. To prevent viewing the interior of the camera from the outside the car, a 2mm thick black foamy sheet was used. Adhesive which is foamy sheet can be easily attached to the window glasses and displaced. It's good for maintenance in the future. In particular, water condensation on window glasses due to temperature differences can occur during the rainy days. I recommended opening the rear side window to remove moisture in the cabinet after rain. 
since it may be dark inside at night, a cabinet interior light may be necessary. Okay, these are all about the hanging cabinets installed in my Sierra Mini bed. And I hope this video helped your project.